Films We Will Forever Remember Jan Michael Vincent Airwolf was the brainchild of TV legend Donald P. Belisario, who had previously created Magnum P.I. and would go on to create popular series such as Quantum Leap, JAG, and NCIS. Airwolf ran for three seasons on CBS, 1984-86, and starred the handsome hero and army, Captain Stringfellow Hawk, Jan Michael Vincent. At his side were Dominic Santini, Ernest Borgnine, and Michael Coldsmith Briggs III, Alex Cord. The star of the show, though, was the helicopter code named Airwolf. Airwolf was a supersonic stealth helicopter built by the firm, a division of the CIA. After it's stolen, it's up to Hawk and company to get it back, since Hawk was the pilot of Airwolf. Today's television shows just can't match the coolness of an 80s action series. Four decades ago, nothing was more badass than a mustachioed Tom Selleck on the original Magnum P.I., Don Johnson in a white suit on Miami Vice, the chemistry between the A-Team, or the black leather jacket David Hasselhoff wore on Knight Rider. It wasn't enough, however, to have a cool star. An 80s action TV series also needed a vehicle that was just as cool to match them. Thomas Magnum had that sweet red Ferrari, James Crockett had a white Ferrari, the A-Team had a GMC Vandura driven by B.A. Baracus, Mr. T, and Michael Knight had a jet black trans AM named KITT that could talk. Throw in the likes of the Dukes of Hazard's Orange Dodge Charger and the Fall Guys GMC Sierra, and you have an era where the hero's transportation was just as popular as they were. Then there was Airwolf, which stepped things up by giving its protagonists a cool helicopter. It was so integral that the show was named after it. Sadly, after the show concluded, the helicopter, which found new life as a real-life hero, came to its own tragic end. The series was never as big as the other action shows of the 80s, but it stood out for being more serious, rather than your fun adventure of the week. It's also remembered for having a bangin' theme, just as all the other shows mentioned earlier had an iconic musical introduction that viewers still remember today, Airwolf got fans pumped up from the beginning. The music was pure 80s testosterone, with shots of the helicopter coming out of the clouds and zooming through the air, accompanied by plenty of explosions. Before an episode even began, you were on the edge of your seat. Sadly, there was not one, but two tragic crashes involving Airwolf, taking the lives of those on board. The first occurred in 1985, during the filming of the series. In this incident, a 22-year-old stunt person named Reed Rondell was flying a Bell 205 helicopter during a chase scene with another helicopter. The two choppers were just 200 feet off the ground, flying through a canyon, when one crashed, killing Rondell. The pilot of the aircraft, Scott Marr, survived. 